parents have the primary responsibility for teaching and protecting their children. This video is provided to assist them in that sacred purpose and is not for group instruction of children. I have eyes. I have a mouth. I have a nose. Hands. Feet. Ears. A stomach. A heart. A brain. Fingers. A spleen. My amazing body is a gift from Heavenly Father. And the most important thing he wants me to do with my body is take care of it. Help it grow strong. Help it learn. Help it be happy. Help it be safe. I love going out on the water with my family. My mom and dad have taught me to love and respect the ocean. They taught me to swim and be safe. They taught me to be careful in big waves, to be aware of corals, riptides, and dangerous plants and animals. If there is danger, I try to avoid it. When something dangerous happens, I learn that it's important to get help. When we know how to be safe, we always have a great time. Just like there are dangers in the ocean, there are dangers in the world, too. One of those dangers is pornography. Pornography means bad pictures of people with little or no clothes on. But just like anyone can learn to be safe in the ocean, anyone can learn to keep their minds safe from pornography and have a great time in life. One of the ways Heavenly Father has given us to stay safe from pornography is the gift of the Holy Ghost. Bad pictures could be anywhere, on signs, computers, on phones, or in stores. These kinds of pictures give you a bad feeling because pornography offends the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost helps you feel that it's wrong. But they also create a feeling of curiosity that makes you want to look at more. Where do these feelings come from? You see, your brain has a feeling part and a thinking part. The two parts work together. The feeling part of your brain reacts instantly to things around you with feelings such as fear, pleasure, anger, surprise, or attraction. Then, the thinking part of your brain helps you to think through whether your emotional reaction is proper, logical, and helpful. Pornography pulls at the feeling part like a magnet because it's triggering natural feelings of attraction. But the thinking part can remind it that these feelings were meant to be aimed at real people. Not phones, magazines, or bad pictures. They were meant to build strong relationships and families. Heavenly Father gave us strong feelings of love and attraction that draw us to others. These feelings have a powerful effect on the feeling part of our brains. Feelings of love help us build strong families. That's good. But pornography grabs those feelings and points them in the wrong direction. That hurts families. Pornography is dangerous, but here are some things that you can do to keep safe. First, when you see it, call it what it is. Say, that's pornography, that's immodest, or that's a bad picture. Send a clear message to your brain that what you're seeing is not good. Second, turn it off or turn away. Pornography tries to lure you in to tempt you to want to see more. You know better than that, so turn it off and turn away. And third, Talk to your mom, your dad, or a trusted adult. They love you and will help you. You okay? You look like you got something on your mind. It might be hard to talk about seeing pornography at first, but it's the best thing you can do. Thanks for coming and talking to us. Can you tell us what happened? Just because you saw pornography and just because it made you curious or interested doesn't mean you're a bad person. Remember that many people love you. Jesus Christ and Heavenly Father love you, no matter what. Sometimes one person just needs to be the bravest and say, guys, we shouldn't be watching that. Next. If you have gone back to look at more, don't let embarrassment stop you from talking to the grown-ups you trust and from talking to the Lord. Pray to Heavenly Father. If you talk to Him, He will help you. He has great blessings in store for you. 
and He wants you to be strong, wise, and good. He wants you to be safe, to protect your amazing body and experience the many joys and blessings that life has to offer. Have you seen these kinds of pictures? Now would be a great time to talk to your parents about it. 